they decided they want to dedicate the rest of the season to her. I mean, we just remember the good times that we all had together, and we just try to comfort each other. We always remember her. The Anacostia High School Sabres played with grief heavy on their hearts, with center Andrea Noble wearing number 22, her best friend's jersey. It is their love for teammate Kelly Bradford that lifted the Sabres' spirits and allowed them to soar to victory over the Coolidge High School players. Knowing that she here um, physically, but she here spiritually. And that's how I feel. I'm glad we won. We played hard the game. We stayed together as a team. We kept our composure up. Anacostia's starting point guard had been pumped up about playing in the local girls' basketball tournament. A car slammed into the 16-year-old junior Tuesday night. D.C. police say a speeding Mercury Mountaineer struck her as she entered the crosswalk on Maryland Avenue Northeast. The driver, Leroy Ely, is charged with driving under the influence and driving without a license. To know Kelly, you had to love her. She had ambition of going to college, of being a top, a pro basketball player. Kelly's heart stopped around 3.30 Thursday afternoon at D.C. General Hospital. The teenager had very little chance of surviving the head trauma, spinal cord injury, and broken bones she suffered in the accident. So far, she'd had about 20, 25 uh, letters uh, from colleges inquiring about her ability and if she was interested in attending. Yeah, she had a real promising future. She was a bright girl. The Sabres will go for the championship trophy without Kelly Bradford, but her team and her family will be inspired by the memory of the young athlete long after the last game is over. Phyllis Armstrong, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.